Welcome to another edition of Tiger Tube here at the Bay Barn Bistro Glenelg Footy Club. Last Monday, the playing group had a very positive performance against the Eagles, going up by 47 points in front of a really strong crowd of 4,647. This was a really pleasing thing for the players to have so many supporters and members. We're currently sitting at number one in the competition in terms of attendance. A couple of key areas we excelled in was our clearance work. Tom Logan, Warwick McGinty and Andrew Bradley all achieved 16 clearances amongst them. Also what was really pleasing was the inclusion of Shannon Snook and his forward pressure and finishing off with three goals, as well as Riley McFarlane's work prior in getting a knock on the hip with his forward pressure. Tom Holmes' ability to execute by foot going forward also was another real positive. Three best players on Monday goes to Rory Kirkby. His high work rate and ability to, up to team lead up in the forward line and also up further up the ground was outstanding. He finished off with four goals. Second best player was a player who did a really positive job on one of their key playmakers in Luke Jarrod. Chris Curran not only curbed his influence but also was able to work hard off Luke and achieve 19 possessions and also was a club high of running 14.9 kilometres for the day. Best player goes to Sam Rudolph, who is having a really terrific year. He played on Adam Grokey, who's one of the best forwards in the competition. Not only did he limit Adam's effectiveness to three goals, he also created plenty of run, had 10 defensive 50 rebounds, and is currently sitting second in the competition in terms of his rebounding from defence. A couple of key areas we'll need to work on this week. Our starts at the moment are quite ordinary, and internally we'll be focusing on starting well against Norwood this Sunday. Also moving the ball with more speed and transitioning from defence. The reserves had a positive performance on Monday, beating the Eagles by 29 points. This was a thoroughly deserving win considering the playing group had been working really hard for the last three weeks in the training track. A couple of key areas that the group did really well was their work without the footy. The key stat for this was 55 chases and 54 tackles. Leading in this area was Matthew Snook who finished the game with 10 tackles. Also, a key area on why the playing group won was their direct ball movement, giving forwards in James Hinge and Ethan Gill first use in one-on-one -on -one contests up forward. James Hinge finished the game with two goals. The three best on the Monday for the reserves goes to Craig Pitt, who was vying for selection. He had 22 possessions and also 10 handball receives with plenty of run from half-back. Second best is a player I mentioned before in Matthew Snook. Not only did he have 10 tackles, he also had 24 possessions and he had some really effective ball use into our forwards. Our best player, a uh, player who's been re working really hard for the year, goes to Clint Diamond. He had 22 possessions and also had eight handball receives, which is evidence that he really ran hard, both from defence and also forward. An area that we need to improve at, for, at reserves level includes our disposal efficiency. This has been an area that we've been focusing on for a number of weeks. It is improving, but will continue to be a focus moving forward. In terms of the ladder, we're currently sitting fourth at league level, equal points with both West Adelaide and Centrals, and at reserves level, we're currently sitting seventh on six points. A couple of really positive debutants. At reserves level, we had Jordan Gelpin, who had a positive influence on the game. He had six tackles and also scored uh, two goals. At league level, Harrison Gill and both Jacob Carger acquitted themselves really well and performed their roles exactly to the team of what we expected. So we're proud of those three men for making their league debuts for the footy club both at league and reserves level and look forward to an exciting future for all three players. Make sure all supporters and members continue to come out and support our playing group. This Sunday the 17th of June we're playing at Cooper Stadium against Norwood. The reserves kick off at 11.25 in the league at 2.10. Last time we met was round 7 out of Cooper Stadium against Norwood we went down by 53 points. We were convincingly beaten in a number of key areas that were identified and will continue to get better and improve going into this week. The following week, we'll be playing our next home game. We're number one in terms of attendances for our home games. So make sure everyone comes out and supports us at home at the 23rd of June. Again, reserves kicking off 11.25 and league at 2.10. In the short term, make sure you come down and support our playing group this Sunday. The guys really appreciate it. For your chance to win a signed Guernsey by the playing group, go to our homepage, click on the VIP banner to see how you can win it. We'll see you next week.